going to be using some flowers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree here. And they're long. I make sure I got the long stem ones. This vase that I purchased from Burlington a few months ago. And also some spray. I got the metallic color. And also the mirrored color. You're also going to need some diamonds. I'm going to be using these diamonds that I purchased from Amazon. For this part, I took this outside because the spray is actually strong. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to spray it the first time with the metallic color, silver. Then I'm going to let it dry. Then I'm going to spray it again for the second time for the second coat. And then I'm going to let it dry. I let it dry for at least maybe a good like 15 minutes before I go with the next coat. Then I'm going to spray it again with the silver mirror one. And then I'm going to let it dry. You're going to need gloves for this one. guys in this part I'm looking for long sticks since the vase is long I'm gonna need some long sticks so hopefully I can find some wow this is perfect just exactly what I was looking for So as my vase dries, I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of the metallic color spray onto the sticks so that it can blend in with the vase. guys so this is the next day i let the vase sit outside for at least overnight and it is completely dry and as well are the sticks are dry as well so now what i'm doing is measuring my adhesive bling and adding it to the vase Of the vase. Hi guys, so in this part, I'm going to be doing the side of the vase. Do you see these little lines on the vase? Basically, I'm measuring the bling adhesive and I'm going around the lines of the vase. <laughs>
So I'm taking my little flowers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I'm taking the tags off. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna connect the flowers to my actual branch that I had sprayed. And by doing that, I'm gonna be using zip ties. The zip ties are black, but I have a trick for that so that it won't be visible once I'm done. Once I'm done, I do cut the ends of the zip ties. With the long stem flowers, what you wanna do is wrap it around the branch so it looks like it's actually growing out the branch. If you love doing DIYs, give this video a big thumbs up. All right guys, so now what I'm doing is readjusting the flowers. They are bendable and making it look more realistic. So I did cover up the zip ties and you cannot see them, of course. And if you want to see that video on how I end up covering the zip ties up to where you cannot see them. And I also added some extra flowers on the sticks as well. Make sure you check out my next video. Thank you guys for tuning in to this DIY. If you like to see more DIYs, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.